guys and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining the second episode of the Define Your Style series. In this series we are looking at defining your style through several episodes where we will talk about finding your personal style and how to mix and match materials and looking at small things just to bring out your style. So the first episode was about finding your personal style and together with that I brought you bring you the second episode which is enhancing your personal style. Now the difference is that enhancing your personal style is more of a mental and emotional well-being uh, challenge or like a tips and tricks. So I have tried these five tips and tricks and it helps me and I want to share it because it can help you as well and these are things you can do at home. You don't have to go out in the store and buy anything. That being said, let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing would be to analyze your wardrobe. And the reason why I say analyze your wardrobe is because you need to get rid of items that make you feel less confident. We often have items that we wear at home. So these are like sweatpants and baggy tees and they make you feel conf like confident at home and comfortable and just like lazy and all of that, which is a great feeling to be at home. But as soon as you take that comfort zone out into the public, it's going to make you feel just Oh, you're gonna go from being confident at home to being like less confident in public so you need to get rid of those clothes in terms of your personal style I won't be able to get rid of my sweatpants no but nor will I take it out in public you've got to differentiate between the two items that are wear, like you wear at home and items that you would wear out in public and that will make you feel confident the second tip would be to change your mindset now sometimes in the beginning, actually, when I was trying to find my personal style, my mindset would be that, okay, but this doesn't work for me. I don't like this. I don't like that. It's nonsense. Because when it comes to style and fashion, you have to understand that there's so many things that can work for you, but your mindset has to be there. You have to be positive that if I'm going to wear an outfit that has three different types of patterns on it, I'm going to be able to rock it. Why? Because I love the pattern and it will work well for me the way I style it. And leading back to it, to the first one, you have to feel confident. So change your mindset. Have a positive mindset. The third tip would be to practice on your po your posture. Practice your posture. If you're going to be wearing an outfit to work and it's a well put together outfit, but your posture is just like a hunch, you're, you're hunched and you're just feeling lazy and you your your energy is not there together with your posture you have to change that because the the way an outfit will work your body and will give you that confidence is that if you have that posture if i'm going to wear a flowy gown to an event and i don't feel great and i slouch my back and all of that it's not going to work the outfit the gown everything is just going to just fall apart and it won't look great the fourth thing would be to mix things up. Now that you have an open mind to different textures, different materials, different colors, shapes, work with it. Add it to your current style. Play around with different types of styles. Add a hat, add this, add something that you wouldn't normally go for. Get out of your comfort zone and play around with items. And the fifth one, which is the most important one to me, is that you shouldn't listen to anyone else's opinion. If you're going to be wearing an outfit that makes you feel great, makes you feel confident, you feel sexy, and you know you are rocking this outfit, why worry about what anyone else has to say? It used to happen to me where someone would ask me, what are you wearing? Why are you wearing that? Are you really wearing it? And they would make me second guess myself, which is not how it should work. If you feel great, go for it. If you feel confident, even better. But as soon as someone else comes and puts things in your mind, you have to understand that it's not your style anymore. It's someone else's style. They're trying to control you and like say, okay, don't wear this. And it often happens that they are jealous because you look so great in it. And they just don't want to see you working this great outfit. So just always keep in mind that nobody else's opinion matters but yours. If you feel great, confident, sexy, go for it. Thank you guys for this. It was quite a short video, but I really wanted to express my, just my tips and tricks on this because I believe it's important to 
to also put your positivity and your energy towards the outfit. It's quite important and it's sometimes it's often thrown out because it has nothing to do with style technically, but it does, I believe it does, because when you see a model in a magazine, she, the model, her, her, she's tall, her posture's right, and you think the outfit is great. So why don't you, whether you are a plus size person or whether you are a petite person, curvy person, it doesn't matter what shape or size you are. Once you have an open mind, you are working your body to the best of its ability, you are able to bring out the best in the outfit. Have a positive attitude, have a great open mind to different types of style because this is how you can also be inspired once you have an open mind to different types of style. And it'll lead back to your first, the first episode, finding your personal style. You might use tips there together with this one. So just be, be open-minded, have a positive energy, give off a positive energy, and your personal style will just shine. It definitely will. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. If you guys would like to see anything specific on this series of the Define Your Style one, please do leave it in the comment section below, and I will definitely get back to you guys. Thank you. Bye.